gi though, like, I really like to use the grips, right? That's the good thing about being in the gi is we have a lot of control with the grips, right? So if Bubba is uh, sitting forward like this, the first thing I need to do is get him on his back. So I can come, uh, like, underhand grip to his heels and I just push him to his back, right? So now, with the gi, we can get this grip on his knee, right? Just getting like a, a palm down grip on his pants here. And I have a lot of control uh, with this grip on his pants. So now, I walk to one side and I pin his uh, leg to the mat. So once I pin it, I can kind of adjust my grip just a little bit and go palm down to pin his leg to the mat. So now, I'm gonna step inside with my, with my outside shin, right? So as I step in, I'm kind of going simultaneously. And so right now, my feet are back, right? And I'm kind of on my toes so that way I can apply pressure. All right, so as I step in with my shin, I'm also looking for this underhook. So kind of simultaneously, I swim this one in, but I have to be careful for the triangle choke. So that's why I really have to make sure that I pin this leg to the mat. If Bubba's able to like free his leg, like I'll get caught in a triangle here all day long, right? So the most important part about this pass is pinning this leg to avoid the triangle. All right, so I swim inside and I drive my shin, pinning his leg to the mat, so I keep this heavy. And now I'm driving forward his, his knee like towards his face. And so look, in the gi, like you can get a grip like on its opposite lapel, right? So I can get this grip, like thumb inside, on the opposite side lapel. Now I can use this to kind of just pull and I keep everything tight, my elbow close, right? So now I start to drive his knee towards his head and now I can choose whichever side I like, right? If I go this side, I'm gonna reach for the cross face, right? So as I reach for the cross face, I'm driving his knee towards his head to stretch his hamstring. This is very uncomfortable. And now, so first, my knee cuts through first and hits the mat. And now I'm reaching for this cross face. So as I reach for my cross face, I'm falling to my left hip. And now I just take a back step and I clear this leg. So once I clear the leg, I can back pedal and now I can square up and get side control. So that's the first option, all right? Option number two, all right? I get my grips on his knees, here. And I walk, 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 and I pin his hip to the back, keeping my feet away from Bubba. Now I swim inside, and as I swim, so like I can use this to keep his leg trapped until I replace it with my shin. Now once my shin replaces it, I can release it, and I can start to go for a different grip. But I like to go with this grip, thumb inside, and I use it to kind of pull Bubba tight, and I uh, close my elbow. So a lot of times, like, if I try to go this way, the guy like might be just using his uh, hands and elbows to frame, like I'm trying to push. Like, maybe I could just smash right through it, but let's look at an easier route, right? So I'm going here and I feel the frame, so now I just go the other way. So I drive his knee towards his head, and I keep the space minimal, no space at all. So I just, I wait for Bubba almost to kind of release it, right, because I'm stretching his hamstring. Now I just let his leg inch by my face and my chest goes low. Now I switch to my cross face and I get um, side control on this side. Here, walk, 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 under hooking, keeping this pin until my shin comes through. Now I really want to keep my posture here. So I don't want to like uh, look down. I keep my posture, I want to stretch his leg out. This is, I want to make it as uncomfortable as possible. Now I can get my grip and I can choose whichever side that I like. Just my hips to the mat, and I get the guard pass. Any questions on this one? I can also, like if I'm playing in the gi, I can look to get a grip, like on his lapel, to break his posture. I can use this lapel grip. So now, let's work this week that we were working the other night, right? So I use my hooks to elevate, and I extend Bubba out, I want to widen his base. So I lift and I extend him out. So now, I'm gonna continue to lift with this hook to, to get him light on this foot. And now I drop my foot to his ankle and I sweep his foot out. And at the same time, I'm using my grip on his knee to rotate his leg outwards. This is gonna help me hit the sweep. So I elevate, I drop my foot from his knee to his ankle and I sweep his foot out from underneath of him. So now this is where the pass comes into play. 
immediately if i'm really doing this in a real scenario like as i feel his weight coming to the mat i'm already starting to sit up to my knees and so i keep this underhook this this was the underhook that i had in the x guard right so i keep this nice and tight as i come up to my knees so i come up to my knees and now immediately look we're right here in the same position that we were working for this pass. So now, just like we were working, I stay on my toes, I can get my grip inside of this lapel, and now I drive, and now I just choose a side. And I hit the guard pass. Using the butterfly guard, we are getting close, I elevate, I push him away, and I get my next guard. Now I extend him out, I hit the sweep, and I follow it up immediately. And immediately I go straight here, right into my guard pass. And I get the pass and come to side control. The biggest thing is just as soon as you hit the sweep, just follow them up, right? And then you go straight into the pass. You don't want to hit your sweep and then the guy like in a like in a split second sometimes the guy can uh, readjust and sit back up on you. And it kind of sucks if you hit a sweep and then you have to do all the work.